Okay guys, so I just checked into the row on Times Square. It's my first time staying here, so I'll share an honest opinion of the place toward the end of the trip. But I'm here for fashion week and I'm so excited. Anyone who knows me knows how much I adore New York in general. I studied here, worked here for a few years, really built my career here when I first, first started in fashion. And it's so excited to always come back. Whenever there's an opportunity, I jump at it because I love this city so much. So I'm really excited to take you guys along for fashion week. The first thing I do always, wherever I go, whenever I check in is I like to unpack pack everything so I hang my outfits out I lay all my accessories my shoes all the stuff out because during fashion week it's very go 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 so I really like to have everything visible in front of me I just grab and go and it makes it so much easier so I'm gonna walk you guys through my room and how everything's laid out okay guys so when you first walk in is the washroom there's a stand-up shower and a bathtub a little sliding door full body mirror which is amazing so over here on the desk area I have all my beauty products laid out here there's two drawers if I want to store anything which is awesome but this is my favorite travel bag it has so many compartments and fits so much it's great because it opens up you just fold it and then zip it and it's good to go over there I have some of my body products lotions and stuff like that a mask I'm gonna do later and over here on the desk I have my sunglasses laid out jewels and then hair care products over here is the closet area. So I have all of my outfits organized for each show. So basically on the hanger is the full outfit. So it'll include if there's pants, a skirt, whatever it is, all on one hanger. And then on the tags, I have uh, the name of the brand that I'm gonna be attending and that's the outfit. So I know what I'm wearing for each fashion show. On this side, I have all my shoes laid out. Over here, I have a few of my bags and then more shoes on this side. And then this is the bed, very cozy space, and I just have everything laid out throughout the room. Hey guys, so it's day two at New York Fashion Week. Uh, today was a very chill day. Um, I had a few calls and a few things I had to do, laptop work, but now I'm getting ready. I have a show at 6 p.m. It's for Prabal Gurung, and I'm so excited to attend. Um, so I'm gonna start doing glam, and I just wanted to film it and see a little get ready with me for the show. Yesterday I had Kalina Strata, which was an amazing show, it was in Brooklyn. interned for Kalina Strada back in 2017 it was one of my very first internships and it was for New York Fashion Week so it feels very full circle to be back here and actually attending the show this time so that was exciting but let's get into this so right now I want to do a face mask a hydrating face mask because oh, the flight yesterday definitely dried up my skin as much as I tried to moisturize beforehand. So I just wanna do a mask to restore and just hydrate my skin before the show. So this is the mask I'll be using. I love face masks, they are just so soothing. This one you leave it on for, let's see, about 20 minutes. So I'll do this and then I'll get ready for glam in a minute. I'll be back guys. Okay guys, so I'm ready for the Prabal Gurung show. Here is my look. Head it out now.
Hey guys, so I just wrapped up from Coach's Spring Summer 2023 show. It was amazing. It was a really great show. It was everything I love from oversized blazers to a lot, a lot of leather um, and just a lot of beautiful patchwork. It was very, very nice. I'm super excited for the next season. So it was an amazing show. Um, and I posted on my story actually asking you guys what outfit I should wear. I threw up the poll and you guys honestly helped me so much. So I feel like I want to do that more often. But uh, yeah, now I'm heading home. I have a little bit of time in between my next event. My next event is an exclusive launch party. Um, so I'll be taking you guys with me and showing you guys more later. Okay guys, so I'm ready for the uh, Cara Lagerfield times Cara. Uh, exclusive launch party so hoot hoot, I'm excited this is the look just a body contrast puffy sleeves and then hair did a little situation so let's give it a go Okay guys, so I just finished from the COS fashion show. It was a gorgeous show. I actually finished, went back to my hotel, and then changed. Now I'm just in a casual outfit, just tank top and some trousers, and I'm heading to Soho just to do a little bit of shopping. The schedule that I've had for fashion week has been so hectic. It's been very go, go, go. I haven't had a minute to actually explore. Um, you know, visit some of my favorite stores, and uh, just have some time aside for my schedule. So I dedicated this afternoon and I don't have any other shows lined up. I go to Soho, do some shopping, browse around, um, and enjoy the city before I head out. Tomorrow is my last day here. I have a Tom Ford show at night. And then I fly out the next morning. So the morning of the 15th I fly out of New York. But uh, tomorrow is a very busy day. I have a few things going on. So I said I enjoyed today. So I'm really excited for that. to go to the Tom Ford show. I'll see you in there.
Hey guys, so I'm officially back from New York Fashion Week. I'm back home for a little bit. Home is Halifax, Nova Scotia for those who don't know. But I'm home for a little bit and I posted on my story yesterday seeing if you guys had any Fashion Week Q&A because I got so many DMs throughout the week when I was in New York. So I thought I'd answer them all here. So then hopefully I can answer all of your questions that you have. And if you're hopefully looking to go to New York Fashion Week, I can answer any questions or little details that you want to know about Fashion Week. So the first question is how to get invited to shows and create value connections in the industry so this is a really great question so I'm going to start off with how to get invited to shows so usually people who attend fashion shows are either a blogger influencer they work in some sort of media or publication so they could be a fashion editor an editor-in-chief they could be a stylist like myself a photographer it's usually people who work in media so they can do coverage for these shows if you want to get invited yourself let's say you're a blogger or whatever the case may be, you work in the industry and you want to get invited, the best way to go about it is to reach out either to the brands personally or to PR agencies and tell them a little bit about yourself so they can know you know, who you are, a little bit of what you do, see your experience, and then that will be their decision if they will extend an invite or unfortunately won't be able to invite you. But it's really important to have either connections with designers or with PR agencies because they're the main people who send out the invites for Fashion Week. And to create valuable connections, connections in the industry it's very important to have your business card of course on standby and try to network when you're at these events let's say there's a magazine you want to work for and there's an editor-in-chief you like that's there you know go up to them talk to them make a conversation introduce yourself keep it very you know simple to the point light then give them your business cards and then try to maintain that relationship you know throughout the years what is your schedule like during fashion week hectic <laughs> to say the least but Usually each time is completely different than the next. Sometimes you'll have one show, maybe an event also the same day, or you'll have two shows going on. But usually each day I had one to two shows per day. So it would start off, you know, waking up, getting ready, heading over to the shows. If I had a little bit of time in between, I'd come back, rest, change, go to the next event. And it's just, that's really how it goes. So it really depends on what your scheduling is, what shows you're attending, but usually it's very hectic and very go, go, go. What was your favorite show this season? So my favorite show would have hands down been the Tommy Hilfiger show. Even though I downpoured, it was such an amazing experience. I mean, runway on its own is really nice because you sit, you see the gorgeous designs, you know, going down the runway. But when designers make it a cool experience, it's just a whole nother level. So for example, Tommy, when we walked in, they had really cool features going on before you go into the show. So there was a lot to see. And then when you go in, the show was just magnificent. I mean, the music was on point. It was just such an amazing experience. The lighting, everything about it, it was so electric and energetic. So overall, it just felt like a really great experience and that's what I love is when they make it more so an experience rather than just you go, you sit, you see the models on the runway and you go. There's just more going on. So Tommy would definitely be my favorite show this season. Do you have to wear the designer's clothing to the actual show? So usually, of course, if you can, that would be amazing. If you can't or you don't have pieces from this specific designer, it's good to look over their, you know, their most recent collections, see what type of designer they are. Are they more bohemian, classic, chic? What is the vibe of that designer? And you want to dress somewhat similar to it, but of course in your own personal style. So you don't necessarily have to wear from the brands. Sometimes you can go do a fitting and then you can wear pieces from their newest collection to that show. But if not, I would just recommend doing some research on that brand and then wearing something that fits their aesthetic. How do you pack when traveling for fashion week? So what I like to do is I'm also a last minute packer, which is probably not the best thing, but that's just kind of how I work. I have a rolling rack in my room, so I hang up all the pieces that I know I want to style for fashion week. I also like when I'm packing to have one section specifically for shoes, one section for full outfits. I also like to lay everything out when I'm packing it. I don't really roll them up. Basically, you just need to prep in advance, plan outfits, take photos so you know the full outfit details, and then pack it up and you're good to go. What's one tip you would share for fashion week? Oh, my biggest tip would be make sure you have either a car service app, whether it's Uber, Lyft, make sure you have your car situation figured out for Fashion Week because my first year I learned the hard way that just trying to grab a taxi is probably not your best thing. Fashion Week is so busy. The city is so busy in general. Taxis is so hard to really catch one. Maybe you'll luck out, but it's very important to have 
your car situation figured out um, so that you'll be on time for the shows. So my biggest tip is to make sure you figure out your rides, stay hydrated, um, and also pack little snacks here and there because you're gonna be on the go and you wanna make sure you eat something throughout your whole schedule. Do you buy new outfits for fashion week? Yes and no. I feel like sometimes there'll be certain pieces in my wardrobe that I'll know I'll wanna style for fashion week. And sometimes if I feel like I want a piece just to freshen up my wardrobe, I might go shopping, but I don't necessarily each season go to the mall and just buy new things for for fashion week. I like to, you know, work with what I have in my closet and find new ways to style them. What is your favorite part of fashion week? So this is definitely a tough question because there's so many amazing things that happen throughout fashion week, but I think overall, it's just being able to experience these gorgeous, gorgeous runway shows and just being in rooms with people that you admire. It's just the experience as a whole. It's really magical. So really my favorite part is of course attending these shows, meeting new people and seeing friends that I've met throughout the years. And there we go guys. I hope you enjoyed this little questionnaire. I definitely had a bunch of questions, but I know a lot of them were just repetitive. So I tried to sum it up and answer a majority of the questions that I kept seeing repeated. If you guys have any other questions, please leave a comment down below and I'd love to answer it or reach out to me on my email and I'd be more than happy to go into detail and help out with any questions that you guys have. I'll see you next time guys. Bye.